for uh, joining us for uh, this press conference for the World Heavyweight Championship. It's going to be bombs away on Saturday night. Um, it's great to be here at Wilder Country, um, where Deontay's created another sports franchise. Everybody knows this is the home of big time college football, and now it's the home of heavyweight boxing. And that's because of the young man to my right. The guy to my left is a scary man, because he has nothing to lose. And he's here with an intent to take away what Deontay Wilder so cherishes and holds in this beautiful case in front of me. Um, this is a PBC show, Premier Boxing Champions, on Fox Network. It's on network TV, free television, which is a great thing. For people who aren't lucky enough to be in Birmingham, Alabama. I want to thank the Legacy Arena, the BJCC, um, the Bruno event team, Ronnie Bruno, Gene Holman, the entire staff, um, TGB Promotions, the longtime promoters of, of Chris Ariola. Uh, Tom Brown now runs that company, but it was run for years by my late friend Dan Goosen, who was with Chris almost from the beginning. Uh, our great sponsor, Corona. And uh, Jody McCormick from the Alabama State Athletic Commission. Not only did uh, JDs get a commission started uh, in the state, he got a really good one started, a truly professional, dedicated commission. And, and thank you, Jody, for your professionalism. And uh, Mayor William Bell, city officials of this great city of Birmingham, it's been a pleasure working with all of you. Um, this is really an interesting night of boxing because there are going to be a minimum of five fights televised. So the doors will open um, in the arena at 4 p.m. The Fox and Fox Deportes, so Fox Network and Fox Deportes, the main bouts will start at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Central Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Time. So 7 p.m. here, 8 p.m. if you're back in New York with the rest of my staff. Um, the FS1 broadcast will begin immediately after the Fox Network telecast. And there'll, there'll be um, a couple of terrific fights on Fox Sports Network. So if you're not in Birmingham and you're not sitting in the arena where you're going to get to watch all of these fights, you've got to switch channels somewhere around um, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. The FS1 card, which goes on the air right after the Fox card, uh, will open up with a former three-time, three-division world champion. He reminds me he's an eight-time world champion, a three-division world champion, a Vic Darchinian. Vic, you here? We'll be taking on Mexico's Sergio Frias in a junior featherweight matchup. And then in the FS1 main event, undefeated Jamal James, 19-0. Jamal, stand up. There we go. We'll take on his toughest opponent today in hard-hitting contender, Wale Omotoso, who's 26-2. So that'll be the Fox, the Fox show. There'll also be um, taping a fight featuring another undefeated heavyweight, um, a gentleman who was actually mentioned when Chris wound up getting this opportunity. Uh, Gerald Washington got mentioned in, in, in the next three. Are you here? Yeah. Oh, you're right. Undefeated yeah. heavyweight will be on the corner. The, um, the Fox televised show uh, is a tremendous show. Tremendous talent and tremendous matchups. The first fight, well, actually, it's not necessarily the first fight, but a fight that will be on the card um, in a sort of swing bout position um, will feature a junior middleweight phenom. This young man is known as the Hammer. Um, his God-given talents are pretty remarkable. He's, in my mind, one of the very best prospects in the entire world of boxing. Um, he'll be fighting, and his name is Eric Lubin, by the way. Eric will be fighting, uh, again, once beaten Ivan Montero, which will be the toughest fight of his young career, I think. A very, very good opponent. Um, so I'd like to bring up Ivan with a translator. If Ivan, you can come up and, Saba, can you translate for him? Ivan, say a few words. Nada, uh, muchas gracias por la presencia de toda la prensa. Y, uh, thank you for everyone and thank you for the press. Pues vengo con, con la intención de ganar, vengo a, a dar mi mejor esfuerzo, a hacer la, la mejor pelea que, que, que pueda hacer esta noche y pues entregar todo en, a, a la hora de la pelea. Saturday night, I hope you come and do the best that I can, give out my best performance, and uh, win that night. Thank you. Thank you.
Gracias. Thank you very much. How's everybody doing? First off, I'd like to thank God. It's a big card. I'm here to um, showcase my talent and show worldwide. I'm one of the best junior middleweights in the world. You know, it's a stepping stone. He's a, he's a Mexican, great opponent for me. You know, I just got done making quick, um, quick work on my last opponent a couple weeks ago in Chicago. Plan on doing the same thing out here in Alabama. I'm here to still show. Um, I'd like to thank my trainers, Jason Galarza, um, Coach Nelson, and um, the whole Hammond family, Pro Box Management, and um, it's Hammer Time on Saturday. Eh, primero, buenas tardes a toda, a toda la prensa que se encuentra hoy aquí. Eh, es simple, ya que la suerte es echada, todo está, todo está contado. Solamente esperar el sábado para dar lo mejor de mí arriba del ring. I want to thank all the press that's here today. Since all the T's are crossed, all the dots, all the I's are dotted, and he has had a good training camp, and he's ready to come Saturday and show the world what he has to do. Thank you. Eh, vengo sumamente preparado para, para este combate. Sé que voy con un gran oponente, pero el plan siempre es el mismo, eh, será ganar. Gracias a mi equipo de trabajo, a mi manager José Núñez, a Ingeniero por la oportunidad, y pasen buena tarde. Gracias. Since he knows that Sammy is a very good fighter, matter of fact, he was, uh, he didn't say this, but they were stable, stable mates. And he has high drive for him. And uh, at the end of the day, it's business. He's going to come and take care of it on Saturday. How's everybody doing? Uh, first, I'd like to thank God, always, um, for, for just me being here and um, uh, just being here, everything I've been through in my life, you know, so it's just a great opportunity for me. Uh, the people and everybody that's helped me get here to where I'm at today, um, you know, for this fight here, you know, Tabella, TGB, Promotions Out, Heyman, the Pro Box, um, my whole family, my team Vasquez, my wife, my children, all my friends and family. Um, it's, it's just a, a great opportunity. I remember uh, when I was nine years old, watching Mike Tyson, and uh, going to Hollyfield fight and watching through the TV, you know, like, man, like, that's so awesome to be able to, to watch somebody, so, such inspirational people fight and fight for a world, a world title like that. And to, it's an honor for me to be able to fight under uh, such great fighters as Deontay Wilder and Chris Ariola, you know, as they fight for uh, the heavyweight title, right, he defends it, and as me being a co-main event, it's just a great opportunity for me, and I'm blessed. Um, every day for everything that I'm granted. Um, you know, I, I like to thank my coach, Charles Leverett, he's from Bibb County. I've been with this man for seven years, and he ain't, ain't been nothing but roll tide in my ear every day for the last seven years. So, with that being said, I did hop the bandwagon, and I am an Alabama fan. So I'll roll tide roll every day with this man. But, you know, based on Saturday, um, you know, we are stable mates. He's a great competitor, great fighter. I take nothing away from him. I was supposed to fight Louis Palazzo, and then uh, he got, he was the next opponent uh, available, and, and that's even gonna be a harder and tougher fight. Uh, he is a gold medalist at the Olympics, um, and he just shows a great, tremendous amount of talent, uh, and it keeps coming, keeps pushing, as well as I do. Um, I'm, a, I'm a pusher fighter. I like getting involved. I like showing the crowd how we do, how we get down. And um, I'm undefeated for a reason. And I tend to stay that way come Saturday night. No disrespect to, to my opponent at all. We are family, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, this is business. And at the end of the day, I'm going to keep my zero. But thank you. Thank you for Birmingham. I appreciate y'all for coming. Thank you. Come Saturday. Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Um, this next gentleman I go way back with, actually. I promoted a couple of your fights, actually, early on, actually, before you were with Dan. Way early in your career. And I remember... The guy kissed me. What? The guy kissed me. Yes, I remember. <laughs> your opponent did. And, um, and back then, like, you know, there, there were times in the earliest career, I knew that this guy was a tough guy, but um, he 
it looked like you drank more beer than I did. And back then, I used to drink a lot of beer. And, um, around 2008, we were in Memphis, Memphis, Tennessee. It was after a fight park. We were wine with us, just like now eight years ago. And they had this thing on Beale Street. It was called like the Big Beer. It was 64 ounces, it looked like, a, like an oil can. And we were just sitting around drinking oil cans full of beer. But I'm um, looking at him tonight. Doesn't look like he's had any beer in a long time. Yeah. And um, you know, when a man has nothing to lose, I said this earlier, he's a very dangerous man. And um, Chris Ariola knows that this is his last opportunity, and he's been given the biggest opportunity he could possibly get by Deontay Wilder, a shot at the green belt, a shot at the heavyweight championship of the world. Um, I know he's not taking that lightly, and the way Deontay has a great team around him and a great trainer. A great advisor and Jay. Um, Chris has a terrific trainer, and Henry Ramirez, another guy I go way, way back with, and I'd like to bring up Henry to say a few words about his fight. How's everybody doing today? Um, you know, it's kind of funny when I, when we initially got the call for this fight, or you know, possibly that it was happening. I had a couple of missed calls, we're headed to the doctor game. Chris was sitting right next to me in the car. I get the call, obviously it was out. Hey, there's the opportunity, yes. We didn't even have it, yes, you know, we won it, so. With that being said, you know, I do want to thank <clears throat> Deontay and his team for, for giving us this opportunity. You know, circumstances presented the fight, and uh, sometimes in life it's not how you get it, but it's what you do with it. And this, this is opportunity, was that, like Chris says, it, it was one that was, you know, you know, a lot of people's eyes he didn't deserve it. But we are definitely going to take take it around with it on Saturday night. So I just want to thank everybody. Uh, looking forward to a great fight on Saturday. Everybody doing all right? Uh, Lou talked about the uh, top end of the card and also the televised portion of the card, but I urge everybody to be there when the doors open because there's a lot of uh, Alabama talent that's going to be showcased. Kenny McNeil from right here in Birmingham will be fighting. Keandre Leatherwood from Tuscaloosa will be fighting. And we've got a new resident Alabamian and our uh, Cuban uh, Olympian, Robert Alfonso. He will be fighting. These are the first three or four fights on the card, so you, you definitely want to be there for that. And I look around, I see a lot of, a lot of big names in the boxing world. Uh, I see Malik Scott back there. Oh, snap! <laughs> I see from uh, Terrence Crawford's team, I see Michael Carter right here, who's produced a very fine program that'll be on sale. Everybody asked the first two fights, where's the fight program? Well, we've got one now, and it's a good one. Uh, then you look around and, oh, you know it's a big fight when you see Sam Watson, and you see Brandon Watson, and you see Brad and Sylvia. This is, you know it's a big event when these guys are here, and this is a big event. I'll tell you. Deontay has worked extremely hard for this. Uh, he is always in shape. He doesn't come to camp to get in shape because he's already in shape. We bring sparring in on day one because there's no need to spend time getting in shape for a guy that's already in shape. He lives it, he breathes it. He's the heavyweight champion of the world for a reason. Turning my attention to Chris Ariola, I will tell you straight up, we know we're in with a bit of a monster. But so is he, right? So that's what makes this such a great fight. You've got two of the biggest punchers in the heavyweight division, and they're going to be, they're really going to be a lot of fireworks in this fight. It's going to be a tremendous fight. Our attention has been on Chris Ariola since the day the fight was announced. Reporters would come in and they want to talk about other things. They want to talk about this guy or that guy. They, they may as well have been talking Chinese, and I don't speak Chinese because there was only Chris Ariola. And this is the sign that we have all over our gym. There is only Chris Ariola. And that's a sign of respect to Chris because we, we in no way think anything other than that this is going to be a war and that we better be at our absolute best because Chris Ariola is a tremendous fighter and he's got a tremendous opportunity. We know what he's done. We know the work that Henry does. We know they're bringing their best. And that's why Deontay Wilder has prepared so meticulously and so hard for this fight. Deontay will be 100% ready, and you'll get the best Deontay Wilder. Thank you guys so much for your time. He was coming on ESPN, Chris, uh, to do an interview. So I stopped listening to the interview. I was like, damn, he's ready. Um, and I think he is ready. He knows what this means. And 
He also has a chance to make history. There's never been a Mexican heavyweight champion of the world or a Mexican-American heavyweight champion of the world. So in addition to doing this for himself, for his family, the people he works with, um, he has a chance to do something historic. He's going to try to live, live up to his name, The Nightmare. And Deontay's going to try to make sure The Nightmare goes to sleep. But um, I'm going to bring up a very tough customer, professional heavyweight, and dangerous heavyweight, Chris Ariola. Hope you guys are having a good day. Thank you to all the media, Fox, BBC, uh, the Heyman family, Sylvia, and the Watsons, Brad, and the best man in boxing, uh, Al, Al Heyman. First of all, um, I want to thank uh, Giannis for giving me this opportunity. Um, I am a sleeping giant. People out there are underestimating me like a motherfucker. You know what? Um, I believe. Um, Vegas has the odds 30 to 1 against me. Please place your odds. Please bets. Place your bets. Place your bets. Place your bets. Make some money, man. I'm gonna I'm uh, quote Mr. Mayweather when he said, "Vegas don't know shit about boxing." First of all, I'm ready. I'm ready for this fight. I'm more ready than I've ever been, man. I'm hungry. I'm very hungry. And. Uh, this ain't no cakewalk. I guarantee Deontay, I'm sorry, man. I respect you. That's why I trained for you. I trained for you. Bad. I was thinking about you. I respect you a lot. But come fight time, all respects out the door, it's time to fight. And that's what I do. I fight. One thing nobody could ever judge is my heart. And I'm going to come in there, guns are blazing, but smart. I'm going to want to go home with that title. It looks real pretty in that case. I may take that case too. <laughs> Thank you guys. Um, and that makes some people worry, but the man to my right is not an ordinary guy. He's the heavyweight champion of the world. He's the American heavyweight champion of the world. He's the pride of Alabama. And this Saturday night, he's going to come through. The heavyweight champion of the world, Deontay Wilder. How you guys doing? Yeah. How you guys doing? You smell like church on you. How you guys doing? Man, I'm so happy and honored to do, to be back at home. I mean, I know everybody that that's that's big in boxing, uh, that's know anything about boxing, know what these last couple of months have been for me. It's been a ride. You know, I've been on a journey that I never thought I'd go, I, I, I'll travel in my career, but, you know, in boxing, sometimes things happen. And, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for everything that happened to me in my life. Even still now, you know, it's, 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 it's things that you learn along the way, basically in life, that teach you lessons, that you have the option of learning from it and going on with it, with what you learn and applying it to your life. That's how you gain knowledge, or you sit back and you take nothing from it and you, you, you keep doing the same thing you've been doing and making the same mistakes, even though I haven't made no mistakes. I've done all the right things throughout my career. You know, sometimes things happen, and I understand that. You know, during that time I came back, I, I had a slight depression on me because of what happened, because of a man can put so much into training. A man can put so much into something that he loves. And the thing that he loves, that he want to do, he can't do it. Because of another individual that want to have an advantage that he, didn't, that he don't need. You know, not in this sport right here. This is the hurt business. You don't need nothing in your body. You know? And coming from that, Taking, taking a couple of weeks off and getting back into the gym, man. Just putting it all past me and now here we are. We knew we needed a fight quick to get my mind out of certain things because it, you know, y'all y'all guys don't understand, man, what I, what, how I was feeling, what I've been through, travel so far and to end up with nothing. I don't do things for nothing. You know, all my life I work and I keep saying, every time I get up on this podium, I tell you, that one's given to me, ever. In my life, and my, youngest, my youngest brother right there will tell you, he'll tell you he don't know nothing about nothing, but his brother working for everything he have, and 
if we say he's gonna do something, he's gonna do it. That's just me. And now I'm in a business where <laughs> you can't do nothing but work. Because if you don't work, you're gonna get punished and, and the, the, the results in the end is not gonna be good. So I'm in a business where I have to work every day. I have to work hard each and every fight. And that's what I do. That's why I stay in shape. You know, some days I feel like, like God, man, you bless me with an ability that, that make me advance above others. Because sometimes I don't even have to, I don't have to really do nothing. Sometimes I can get out of my bed, I'm already in shape, I go to the gym, I do certain things I do in the gym that other fighters don't even do because I don't have to because I got a, I got a blessed ability that I discovered later in my career. But I thank God for that, but I don't take advantage of that. I still grind, I still work hard, I still put in that work. Because that's all I know is work. That's all my father installed in me, is work. Work, work, work. You know, and now is the time again. Coming back to my, my, my state, I tell people, you know, I, everywhere I go in the state of Alabama is my home. I'm originally from Tuscaloosa, but everywhere I go in Alabama, that's my home. That's why I'm so highly respected here in my state. And why I'm so loved by all. Because I do it for my city, I do it for my state. And we came a long way, just like Mayor Bevin told you. <laughs> Only me and Jay know the, 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 the struggles and the sacrifices and the things that we had to do to get it to where it is. But nothing is easy though, man. I don't expect nothing to be easy, and I don't expect nothing to be given to me. So now it's time. The waiting is almost over. July the 16th is near. And I can't wait. I can't wait because I've been wanting to pound something. <laughs> I've been wanting to pound something since May. I got teased a little bit. I don't like to be teased. I got teased a little bit and now it's time. It's time. And I'm doing it right here at home. One of the reasons I wanted to do it at home because I didn't want to see another plane. I didn't want to go no more places. I said, I'm coming back home where I can get all my hugs and kisses. And I wish Big Mom was still alive so she can please me some of them biscuits and sign me in the She'll make them, them biscuits, but you'll smell them when you sleep, you'll get on them. <laughs> but, like I said before, when we was looking for opponents, we had a few guys that we could have chose, but certain guys we was looking for, we, certain guys, we didn't want to give a short notice opportunity. We, we need a certain type of fighter for this, 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 this job we was giving out to. Mayor Bear said something about an application, but we had to, we was giving out a different application this, 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 this different time that we was in. And we needed somebody that we know that, like I said, in shape, out of shape, no matter what the shape is, they was gonna come and fight. They was gonna fight with their heart. And we knew that they was gonna take this, this opportunity and, and, and take it to the heart. Do he deserve a title shot? No, he don't. He, he knows that himself. That's no secret. But for the description, for, the, for this situation that we in with a short notice, is he the perfect guy for the thing? You're right, you're right, he is. I'm all about blessing. And I believe a man deserves a second chance, a third chance. This is his third chance, so I, I believe in third chances. Sometimes we don't even get second chances sometimes, but he's lucky to get a third chance at a title fight. You know how many hungry prospects are waiting? How many prospects would, would, would love to probably fight him not for eliminating the fight for this, this, this beautiful Look at her, she's just shining in, in her castle with this green around her. And I had to shine it up because this is the first time she's seen daylight. And she didn't want to be the shirt. But so many guys would fight for this just to get in the position where I bless Chris with. But no disrespect to none of the heavyweights. There's a lot of great heavyweights, there's a lot of great prospects coming up. Got uh, Jerry Washington over here. No disrespect to none of them, but this, this was a different situation that we. We, we had on our hands and we, we needed a special person for this situation. And, and I blessed Chris Ariola with that opportunity. And I can't wait. 
We're both stable mates as well too. I work hard to keep this, to defend it, just like my man did for our country. And I always respect a man that, that gives me the opportunity to do what I do. I appreciate every time I'm around any of my military friends, man, that protect and serve our country. Because y'all really, really are the champions. This right here is just a title. This don't mean nothing, but y'all are the true champions. Fight. I want to thank Chris and his team for accepting this opportunity that I've given them. And it's time to fight, brother. You got your, you got your third chance, man. Don't take it lightly. He's the, might, he's the nightmare, and I'm a knockout artist. And what makes me special from all the other guys that knock people out is just the way I knock people out. Go back and look at my history and what I've done, who I, I, people I've knocked out and how I've knocked them out. I've gave broken mouths, jaws. What, uh, what, what's in their head? A broken socket in his eye. I've been broken ribs. I've been made some stomach hurts. I've been, I've been, I've been gave some people some seizures. With tongue in the back of the throat. And I almost killed the man. There's another story to, 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 to write right here in the history books. It's going to be a great show. I can feel it. It's going to be a great show. <laughs> Y'all guys don't miss it. It's going to be on Fox. I'd like to thank my team. I'd like to thank Bruno and Vin team. Man, every time I come, y'all up there. I see that basketball you gave me in that room. You up yourself and gave me a cooler full of stuff this time. <laughs> Y'all coming on up. I appreciate that. Appreciate Al Heyman. I appreciate Shelly Fingles. I appreciate my whole bomb squad. Man. It's always good to see Siri for the first time we're having out now, girl. <laughs> Brad. Yeah, all y'all got, you know, that's my family back there. I ain't even got you some you over. That's my man right there. It's like my brother from another world right there. People don't even know. But man, I am I'm, I'm excited, man. I can't wait. We got a great on the card as well, too. And <laughs> it's showtime, baby. And you know the words are gonna be and still heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to add in, they say Chris don't have nothing to lose, and I feel the same way. I don't have nothing to lose either because I ain't giving up now. <laughs> and that's how I feel about it. And I see y'all guys there. Oh, snap! I too! <laughs> Thank you. Right. 